Moreno Valley, California. Anna, you are on with Robert Groves, the director of the U.S. Census Bureau. Yes, good morning. This is the first time in my 72 and a half years in, on the earth where I've seen a card that had, I mean, uh, Census Bureau being that large. In question number nine, I am black. I did not appreciate the black, the Afro-American, and Negro. That is back when I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, when people were called Negroid. I do not like that. That is out of character, and I really, it really hurt my feelings. I did call Phoenix and talk to the lady about that, but that to me is racist. You have a blessed day. Goodbye. Uh, first of all, let me apologize to you on behalf of all my colleagues, and then I need to tell you why that word is there. This takes a couple of minutes. Before the 2000 census, there was a lot of research done uh, about how to ask race. And some of the research was set up to uh, not give categories at all. We would ask someone to think about uh, race uh, and then tell us what word they would call themselves in racial terms. The results of that research were that there was an older cohort of African Americans who in that research, freely said, well, I would think of myself as a Negro. A Negro. The result of that research produced the 2,000 wording of the questionnaire, which is exactly what you see here, black, African-American, or Negro. Now, there's one other thing we need to know. About 56,000 people in the 2000 census, in addition to checking that box, went below and wrote in the word Negro. So they both checked black, African American, and Negro, and then wrote in by hand the word Negro. When you analyze the characteristics of those people, about half of them were less than 45 years of age. This was a big surprise. So those were the results of the 2000 census. Now, uh, I have noted this already. I, I think, in retrospect, we should have done some of that same research this decade. It was not done. There were, uh, it was a focus on other attributes of this. The intent of every word on the race and ethnicity questions is to be as inclusive as possible so that all of us could see a word here that rings a bell for us. That's how I think of myself. Uh, it was not uh, to be offensive, and, and I, again, I apologize on that. My speculation is that in 2020, that word will disappear, and there are going to be other words that are going to change. Our language about race and ethnicity is under constant flux. It's a challenge for us to keep in tune with that dynamic nature, but we need to do it.